As president, my relationship with the, the with Her, Her Majesty uh, when I returned the state visit to the United Kingdom, I think uh, I, I was celebrating, if you like, the best possible relations which still exist. Uh, we will still be neighbours no matter what happens. Uh, I think that the good relations that we have established over the years uh, will, in fact, uh, will and will prevail. But I do think that what I think is very, very important is that the outcome be one uh, that, as I have said in order of preferences, that secures the position in relation to the peace agreement, that enables the economy to continue to function in both of the interests of North and South, as well as that Eastern West, that there would be a minimum disruption between uh, that trade, and that's to the benefit of both the United Kingdom and ourselves. Almost every, <laughs> every, everybody was coming. Uh, Tunisians, uh, Persians, uh, Romans, uh, Arabs. The deep concern is that we are able to retain the full integrity of the international agreement that is our Good Friday Agreement of 20 years ago, and into which a great deal of preparation went. It is an agreement that we've had to work at even since then, because, but it has led to better relations in Northern Ireland. It has led to an ever-increasing integration of the economic life. It was very important for us, and uh, we are actually looking forward now to if there was a favourable uh, exit, it would probably uh, impl have an implication of about 4% of a reduction in our GDP. If there was an exit without a deal, it would, I think the Fiscal Council suggests a figure of 8%. Uh, this would have effects particularly in relation to the agribusiness sector of our economy. About 46% of our beef goes through the United Kingdom, about 25 to 26% of our dairy products. But I should emphasize something that's very important. There's a trade of 4.5 billion in each direction, 4.5 billion, 4 billion. So in a way, this, these decisions have had have implications and how they are handled has implications for the United Kingdom economy as well.